very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever place it is you're tuned on to the Life of Signatures Radio all over the world. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is a daily show where we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. And uh, those are the three things that I am so sure are part and parcel of everyone's life. Everyone in every continent, every human, purpose, productivity, and resilience. And right now we are in the middle of a series where we are talking about work, 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 work. It has been a long series. It is still going to be a very long series. Because I've said man was born to work. You cannot divorce man from work. When you do that, you have killed humanity. You've killed the world. It's kaput. There is no purpose for the existence of the world other than for man to work. You can take that to the bank. And so yesterday we started talking about why work is the only place for fulfillment in life and not religion. Let us just tie it in today in this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let me explain what we started talking about yesterday. We say that religion is not the place where you're going to get fulfillment. We say that even those people who tell others that come to Christ and you'll find fulfillment. All right? They will come to Christ, but at the end of the day, if they do not work, Christ said, I have come so that you can have life and have life even more abundantly. It, there's a place where they also say, Beloved, I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. There's the soul prosperity, and then there is the other kinds of prosperity, which are not just bestowed to you by the virtue of coming to Christ. How many people have come to Christ? How many people are even intercessors? They are praying in, the, in God's presence every day, and they do not have a dime, or they are hungry, or they are unfulfilled, and they are disillusioned. It is because the element of work is being divorced from them. And we say that the way man was created, when you look at it critically, man was created and the ideal for the man to live was that there was no sin. Man was not grappling with sin, but he was working. Are you getting? He was working. In other words, if sin was not the issue, read, if religion was not the issue, work will still be the most basic theme for the human therefore let us just deduce this and say that it has not been rescinded it still is the case what is the purpose of religion what's the purpose of christianity what's the purpose of christ to restore people back to god's presence but not to make them devoid of work i know if you're a muslim and you're listening to this maybe it's not making sense but these are these are just facts you know even as a muslim even even as a hindu you know this that you cannot be a human being and not work it is basic it is basic and you know that uh, in your own religion you know that we strive from time to time with sin you know personal sin corporate sin all those things lying killing stealing you know lust we strive with those things as humans that is not the central theme of religion should not be the central theme of religion 
Religion tries to address these things and we are trying to address the afterlife with these things. But we are here on earth. When we are here on earth, what are we supposed to do? Our calling is to be productive here on earth. And if we are not productive, I don't care how spiritual you are. You might be a guru, you might be living in God's presence itself. But if you are not working, if you do not work, you will not be fulfilled. You can take that to the bank. It will save you a lot of trouble to know that. Ali. So what do you do? You balance. One of the things that we do, especially in religion, is to go to extremes. We don't balance things. So you find someone, unless otherwise, but you find someone daily in church. I had pastor, uh, not pastor, I had Apostle Lubega the other day telling people, get out of here. Go and work. You cannot be in church on Monday, in church on Tuesday, in church on Wednesday. Every single day, who are you? Go and work. Go and find some work to do. You are created to work. You will find fulfillment in your work. Do you know, let me just go there, ladies and gentlemen, let me just go there. Do you know there are some people who do not know Christ? I'm going to tell you this as it is. There are people who do not know Christ. They are not born again. They don't know God. But they have so much fulfillment in their work. More than those ones who know God and they don't work. But of course, there's got to be balance on both sides. Those ones who do not know God, their hearts, I can tell you, their hearts sometimes wander. Sometimes it's just the apprehension in their spirits and their hearts asking these questions. What if? And they're asking this question, what am I missing? The ultimate fulfillment is in balancing. You find Christ, but you also work. You don't do one and don't do the other. There's got to be a balance in there. So what is fulfillment? Let us be, let us be critical in our thinking a bit here. Is it really a fact that man is only fulfilled ultimately when they work? Isn't there another way that a man is fulfilled? I'm talking about ultimate fulfillment, not fleeting fulfillment, ultimate. Well, what is the fulfillment anyway? And is it a must for me as a human being? Eh? Is it a must for me? to seek fulfillment someone might be asking that question let me put it this way so that we all are on the same page all human beings are created for a reason let's just know that and that reason is to shine the light of their glory on the earth and to be a blessing on it and to move on to the next life for that to happen work must be the central theme of their existence. To shine the light of your glory, you are glorious. Jesus Christ said, you are light. Said, shine your light. Let your light so shine. Let your light. You are light. Do you, do you see that? He did not say, let my light. Huh? Not his light, your light. Let your light so shine. You don't light your lamp and put it under a bushel, he said. And how is that going to happen? It is through your work, your ultimate work. When the artist is painting, his light is shining. When the speaker is speaking, his light is shining. When the woman is serving in children's ministry, her light is shining. When someone is singing, their light is shining. When those ones who are called to lead are leading, their lights are shining. So this explains the disquiet that is always within us whenever we are not working. That's why joblessness is, is a mental disease. Uh, let me just pack that. I'm going to talk about it another day. It explains the discontentment that we have in our psyches whenever our identity is not up to speed with our work. When you are steeped into work that is not your calling, it eats up on you. 
It explains the many upheavals that we face in life as man is searching for meaning. It explains why we have regrets, especially in our old age. If we know that we did not work the way we were supposed to work in the first place. You see, fulfillment is the spiritual. It is the psychic, the intangible, fulfilling, enduring reward that is only obtained when you work as you were intended to work. Nothing else can fill that void than your life's work. So, should we seek fulfillment? Well, I will leave it up to you. It is really up to you. So there are two ways you're going to get fulfillment. One thing is for sure though, the reward of your life, whether good or bad, will weigh on you. It will weigh on your soul at some point in time. And this will depend on how you deployed your work, your soul work. It will not be about what you amassed, what you gathered, uh, how much you connived, how you are regarded by others. <laughs> nope. All those things are fleeting mists. Either there will be regrets or there will be massive fulfillment at the end of the day. And finally, I do believe that fulfillment is in two ways. Let me explain. I, If I design the phone, and I talked about this, if I design a phone to solve a particular problem and the phone is used exactly for that reason, it will be fulfilled. I will be fulfilled. If the phone had feelings, it will be fulfilled, right? This is because it was used to work specifically and optimally where it was designed to work. The designer and the designed, they get the fulfillment. The same thing is true for you and your creator and your maker. And I believe that whenever the human works, the divine is not necessarily punishing them. It's not a cast a blessing. The divine sent the human on earth to cultivate it, to work. To That's why you have potential. You put potential inside of you. And the potential is only realized through work. The world cultivate the word cultivate is not an agricultural word it's a metaphoric word and there is massive amount of pride and fulfillment whenever a human being works as we were designed to work both for the human and the creator there is fulfillment other things such as being reconciled back to god through jesus are extremely fundamental so that man can work to the glory of God. So whichever way you want to look at it, I submit to you that work is the only and ultimate place for the fulfillment of the human being for the reasons that I've shared with you above. The two ways of fulfillment is that the creator gets fulfilled, the created gets fulfilled. That's it. That's what I can submit to you today about those things tomorrow we will continue to talk about work and i'm going to talk about why the world needs you and me to work until then thank you for listening and bye, -bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.